Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with... TNT Dynamite, the explosive one, Jonas, you're the man on the sticks. I'm holding it in my hand. We're playing Madden 20, the Houston Oil Daddies. The daddiest of the oils. Oh my god. As always, playing offense only, some of that D. Mm. Balance playbook, all Madden arcade mode, Brody six guns, slanging his way to the promised land. <laughs> slanging all of his way. I re-signed Naha Hines on our team, I think. I don't know what that means. That's our running back, Naha Hines. Oh, knee high. And we got Jonas. We don't even talk about the players on this team Knee anymore. high Hyman. Jonas, <laughs> have you have ever had a knee high Hyman? No. Whoa. <laughs> That's a whole horse of a different color right there, Jonas. Did I what? Have I? Have what? you ever purposely removed somebody from your life? Ooh. Oh. Deep. Oh, wow. We're getting deep on this one. Uh, yes. Ooh, who was it and what was the infraction? Um, I... Are you allowed to say? Are you court ordered? <laughs> Did you sign an <laughs> no, NDA? Normally, okay. Like, I guess, like... Hmm. I guess it isn't so much I cut them out, is I stop giving effort, and they don't give effort either, so it just goes away. No. It's like, main, most of the time, like, I realize, like, in the older I get, if you're not bringing some sort of value to my life, Oof. what Oof. are you doing in my life? If you're bringing me down, and you're not boosting me up, or, or my, if you're not a cheerleader for me, then why the F are you around? Woof. Are we talking about a girl? No. No, we're not? Guy, girl, whoever. No, I'm asking if you were talking about one. Oh, I was just generally speaking. No, I've had, like, guy friends that, like, I'm just like, all right. <laughs> also, that one was, but this one ain't. No. No. Um, no, no, I'm just speaking in generalizations. No, I understand that, but I was, when I asked you. Oh, I didn't you, have it, anyone in mind in that. No. Um, But no, man, it's just like, it's, we all get old, as we get older, we get busy, dude. Why do we have time for people who are going to cause drama and bring us down? Like, if you're, if, dealing with you is a complication to me. I just don't. I just don't want to do it anymore. Uh, yeah, I was gonna get into the story about. I knew. I knew a kid since I was like 11 years old, and I got and I had to cut him off. Yeah, man. I had to. If you, if you. Uh, man, you can you can show so much kindness, so much so much effort. Yeah, I mean, I've cut I've cut off people for taking advantage of me too. Oh my yeah. God! Yes. Yeah, like. Yeah. Cutting people off for just being like, I've cut people off because every time I talk to them, all they did was complain about their life, and I'm like, dude, I can't do it anymore. <laughs> right? I can't. I cannot talk. Like, I know talking to you is gonna bring my mood down, just because you're. I'm just like, hey, what's up? Yep. Oh, I'm depressed today. I'm like, dude. <laughs> I'm like, I care about you as a person, but like, I'm not your therapist. Go talk to someone about your depression. <laughs> and we're not saying that you shouldn't help people if they're in that situation, but that can't be the only thing they're bringing right. to the well, table. No, and this is like after months and months and months of like stuff, dude. It's, I'm not saying like the first time your friend's like, I'm sad. You're like, get out of my life. Like, <laughs> no, exactly, not at all. Exactly. But like, and I've had people who just didn't want to better themselves. And I'm like, dude, I can't. Like, I want the most out of life. You are completely content doing nothing constantly. You have nothing positive to say. You have nothing positive. Yeah, You're not that's an issue. You're not helping You're not. That's, that's a cycle that, that that person, I hope they were managed to work themselves yeah, through. Yeah, dude, it's like, I am all about helping build up the people in my life. Like, helping whoever be the best they want to be. I will support your ideas. I will help. But if you're not willing to help yourself, man, I'm not going to be the only one that's helping you. Oof. Oof. Facts. Yeah, dude. Like. So, kids, just, just think about it now, man. Some of those kids that you're uh, playing Fortnite BRs on with right now. Yeah, dude, exactly. <laughs> you're going to end up hating them later in life. <laughs> you're going to be like, get the hell out of here. Like, a prime example is, like, if you have a friend, right? Uh -huh. And your friend's like... Man, I really, I'm really not happy about my body. I really want to start going to the gym and working out some or whatever. And you're like, okay, cool. Well, like, if you want, like, I can like support that and be like, hey, did you go to the gym today? Or like, how's the gym going? Or whatever. But if I no, that's not support. I'm like, well, how's that not supportive? I don't know. To me, that's like, why are you asking? <laughs> 
<laughs> it's about my wife. Are we married? Are you my mom? But, but like, if if you keep at, like, if you're like, if they're like, yeah, that would be great. That would help me feel motivated to go. If I didn't go, I'd be like, oh crap. This Jonas is, a, is gonna ask me how the gym went, and I, and I didn't go. The support would be like looking at me and like, hey man, I can tell you've been going to the gym. And uh, like, if, if I'm, I'm, like, I'm not gay or nothing, but times, I, and they every time they're like, I didn't go, I didn't go, I didn't go, then I'm not gonna ask you anymore. I don't. I wouldn't want anybody to ask me yeah, any but of that. That's how you are, though. You don't want is, anybody is to that know anything weird, about though? you. Is that weird? Hold on, like check it. I don't know. Okay, look. I feel like we definitely approach things in different ways. Absolutely. So if I were to start going to the gym, a, I'm not gonna tell anybody at all. Right. Me neither. Okay. B. When the only reason I want anybody to bring it up is because they notice a noticeable change, right, me too. and even still, I'm gonna downplay it. I agree. 100%. I'm gonna be like, hey, "Oh yeah, I just been hitting the gym a little bit." Boom! That's all you're getting. <laughs> yes, I agree. That's that's not my motivation style. Like, and I, see, I don't want anybody asking me if I went to the gym. Me neither, today. dude. Me neither, dude. You know why? Because I hold myself accountable. Some people need yeah. the accountability of just having a friend ask them if they went or how it went. Not like, yeah. did you go to the gym today? But like, how was the gym? Then they're like, no, I don't want F, that. I didn't go. Uh, I don't want, I don't that, want either. that either, dude. I don't at all. Nah. I do not in any way, shape, or form. I hate it, dude. You know what I hate it? I went to their... You're, you've heard of Camp Gladiator, right? Uh, it's no. like a group workout class thing they do. People, you go to locate... Like, it'll be like at a church, at a school. And, like, you go there, but you big, do big group exercise outside. Really? And, like, and it, it's, it's great because some people like being around other people and they work out. It's, you know, things... And I do, too. Mm. I like working out in, like, classes in the gym. It makes you go harder because there's, like, 40 people all doing the same ish. I went to that. I, there was a, a somebody, a, some people I work with did it, and they're like, "You should, you should try it." You, I know you like going to the gym, blah blah blah. And I'm like, "Okay, cool, yeah, I'll give it a shot." So I signed up. They had a free trial. It was like seven bucks for a month. Like a, it was a special. Go for a month, dude. I hated it so much. <laughs> what do you hate about it? I hate the 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 teacher was like uber motivational. Was it Joe? Worse than Joe? It was in a different way. It was like, it was like, as you're like, uh, <laughs> it was like, all right. And then like, as you're like, you're like, do this and then go run, run a lap. And then like, while you're running the lap, he's like, come on, everybody, pick it up. Let's go. You can do it. And ish like that. And I'm like, get uh. that. I'm like, shut your mouth. Dude. <laughs> I'm like, no. That ish is so cringe. Dude, I hate it. Like, I want to work. I don't even like working out with a partner. I like going by my working out is like my jam. If I'm going to a class, that's fine. But I don't want the teacher coming around and being like, good job, Jonas. Keep it up, buddy. Get yeah, the out I don't here, need dude. that either, man. I tried doing the whole personal trainer thing uh, as well. That didn't really work out for me. Yeah, I don't I don't like because I just don't I don't want you looking at me disappointed all the time. <laughs> no, I just don't like, like uh, don't be looking at that me ain't my style. I self motivate. I don't need someone's fake motivation. Yeah, but I don't want your fake your fake anger either. Or fake disapproval. Yeah, I, I don't mean, want they, I don't want exactly when it comes to things that are a but matter just, of me yeah, and my own fight through whatever it may yeah. be. I just I need to need but to I suss that out but myself. I respect if someone in my life is like, "Hey, I want I like I want to do this and I know I'll have trouble motivating myself." If I care about them and they literally have said that, I don't mind yeah. being like, "Hey, I'll help you figure out a way to make it work." Cuz I right. want people to be the best people they can be, man. All right, Jones, look, I know we live in a different world right now. Who me and you? And, yeah, man, from when we were kids and how we were necessarily brought oh, up. Oh, that you just the, meant, like us. No, pers- okay, the right. world, the country, and, and, so- yeah, yeah, and social is it's just constantly evolving. But yo, if somebody comes to me and says, "Hey, yo, I need your help motivating you," I'm gonna be like, "What? What are you talking about? <laughs> what do you? You need my help for me to motivate you?" Not saying that I would not help. But I'm gonna be like, why? Why do you need my help? But I'm the to- type of person that'll offer the help. Would you? F- do you feel like you would need help in being motivated? No, but I'm a very motivated person. I always have been. Okay. So, Other people are not. So this is my thing. Is like because you are a motivated person, 
you you wouldn't even understand how a person who may not be as motivated as you would even take that. I feel like it's almost like a like a B move. Like you're trying to you're trying to be him. You're trying to be him out a little but bit. They, they're, Female they're, dog him out. Want, like I'm not doing it. I'm not like you're going to the gym. I just start asking him how it's going. Hey, yo, how's that gym going? Yeah, I don't do that. <laughs> Well, how are you going to do it? All right, Jonas, look, I told you I need your assistance getting motivated to go to the gym. Right. I wake up. I come into the living room. What are you going to say in order to get me motivated to go to the gym? That's not going to cause an it's argument. Not like, it's not like it's going to cause an argument. <laughs> yes. No, it's not like I'm like a motivating factor like that, but it's like I wouldn't be like, you hitting the gym today? No, dude. <laughs> 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 I just want to know how you approach telling somebody to go to the gym. I need to know how you're going to do this. I want to know your tact involved. That's not going to start a, a, a fight. In the but, it, but the person wanted it. It's different oh, okay. from a person who doesn't want it. All right. Like if you were like, hey, remind me to go to the gym or help me rem get my A to the gym and I did it, you'd be like, oh, I told uh, okay. him to do that. You're just saying like a gentle reminder. Just leave yeah, like a sticky you, note. Yeah, <laughs> you wouldn't be like, hey, I want to go to the gym. And then every day after that, I'm like, how's the gym going? Yep. I wouldn't do that. That's a D move. I swear to God, if you leave me a sticky note that says hit that gym today, <laughs> I swear to God. You can do it, TNT. <laughs> Swear to God, dude! I'm so pissed. Right honestly, now. honestly, Planet Fitness advertisements all over the house. <laughs> oh, I'm so mad. I don't know why you're so mad. I don't know. You're about to write me out of your life for other things. <laughs> <laughs> no chance of that. Yeah, dude. I, yeah, just I don't know, man. It's I'm, I'm basically what I'm trying to say is like, if I if you're in my life and you're a positive, you bring a positive influence into my life or positive aspects to my life, I'm all about helping you be the best person you can be. Hey, man. Like, and that's really it. Like, I want to be a positive influence in your life too. Whatever, whatever that means to you. Huh. Yeah. So you know, what? I I agree with that sentiment 100, percent and I kind of feel like. I feel like I I I pose that positivity mainly because I'm not a negative a hole who just yeah. talks about bad ish all the time. Yeah. And there's a lot of those. Yo, if you're one of those people, you gotta stop. You got you gotta you got, stop. You gotta be glass half full, you man. You gotta stop. All right. Silver lining syndrome, dude. No. You gotta get it. A because not everything's that bad, and B because nobody wants to hear you bullish. Nobody wants to. Nobody likes someone who complains all the time, man. Yeah, man. You got nobody. Gotta, not even your mama. Like. <laughs> Amen. Like you can have a circle, you can have a person, you can find support groups, right. but that ain't gonna make you any friends. Yeah. That's for sure. And if someone in your life is bringing you down, get them out of your life. Like, dude, for an example, if if okay, we 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 cohabitate this place. Uh -huh. If we did nothing but argue about everything in the house all the time, when the lease came up, I'd be like, I'm not interested. Thanks, because <laughs> it's more of a hassle to live than it needs to be. Amen. You know what I mean? Like. If, if you have a friend who you constantly fight with and argue with, why are they your friend? <laughs> like, Amen. It just doesn't make sense. <laughs> I don't think we've ever argued about no. anything. I don't think so. Like stupid medial stuff. But it, not it, not like, even that. Yeah, I was <laughs> not even say, that. Yeah. Yeah, dude. It's like it's and that's how I live most of my relationships with everyone I have, whether it's friend partner whatever i try to like minimize any sort of conflict because it yeah. doesn't effing matter it really don't it's a major thing yes i'm gonna tell you it's a problem for me it if really not i don't, don't. care it and what and mean. people confuse and people confuse the ability to let things go for not caring yeah and it's not that i don't care it's that i don't care <laughs> you know what I mean? If, if There's too many. You don't have that many days left on this planet, Jonas. At your age, you got <laughs> you got to pick your battles, man. Dude, and it's like, and, and it's like, I've had people tell me they're like, "You're so easygoing." I'm like, "Yeah, because yeah. it doesn't freaking matter." Word. If there's something I have an opinion about, I will speak my mind on. Yeah. It for sure. If not, I really don't care. Jonas, you know what? I was actually, I woke up this morning and I had a weird dream about the Mitsubishi Indians. 
and it's a long story. It was okay. just my, it was my dream. Okay. All right. <laughs> I had a dream. Some guy asked me about Mitsubishi's. I was like, I think it was a Native American tribe. I was 100% wrong. I woke up Wikipedia at Mitsubishi, found out it has nothing to do with Native Americans. It's car, dude, and TVs and all sorts of stuff. I know, but I thought they, like, took it from the Native Americans. Oh, okay. Anyway, and then as of, like, the latter part of my dream, I dreamed that time we went to that uh we went to that one bar. dude just like came up from behind you and oh, like and put his arm around my and neck? put him around your neck and he was just drunk as hell but for some reason he thought it was cool yeah and in my dream i like got in his face man oh like you relit you like deja I vu did. <laughs> I oh did. weird i like relived it yeah, i was, was so night. like like dude. i was like yeah like i was really drunk and i could tell he wasn't trying to be aggressive but like he almost got it. I was so bit. mad in my dream that I didn't do anything in real life. There, there was nothing to do. Well, it didn't turn into a situation. No, oh, man. If, it, it could if it would have. have. It would have been a way different situation. I feel like I should have just jumped the gun and just like snapped on him. Though. No, because that's not your person. I know, but I wanted to snap. Jonas, go have somebody else assault you so I can Dude, kill them. It, was, he like, <laughs> it Jonas, felt like he please. was like being like kind of like... <laughs> Like it was like he was like, ooh, hey, and then I was like, he like, like he was ooh. like trying to like get a feel up. Jonas, go out and get assaulted so I can hurt somebody. I wouldn't call that assault. Yeah, I, I want mean, you some to. Some people probably <laughs> exactly. Would've. It's like, battery. Battery. Yeah, go get he battered. His, he wrapped his arm around my neck and Jonas, like, I did nothing. <laughs> he gently squeezed me. Like, but I did like look at him like you need to watch yourself, dude. Like, oh, you're just like ha ha ha, and I'm like. <laughs> You were, like, so close to not All having right. a fun night. Well, I'm the worst boyfriend ever. John, it's on the <laughs> next episode. Oh, shoot. All right, that is all the time we have for today's game. Uh, please make sure to like and subscribe if you've already done that. Share it with a friend. Tell your mom. Tell somebody. Have them come watch us. We're growing, and it's all because of you. Aw, TNT Dynamite. <laughs> R. R. Uh, out.